What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video on local fishing. Of course guys, I am terrible at making intros and outros. So without further ado, I'm gonna just go ahead and start off by saying I just bought the cheapest reel on Amazon. And what I mean by cheapest is I mean no extra cost on shipping, just prime straight flat out, whatever it costs, no extra charge. So without further ado, let's get the video started. So I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me in the van guys, but um, yeah, this is literally what the box came with here. So it came with a you know a reel cover, which I'm actually really surprised considering this is only $13 for the whole reel setup. Um, as you can see, it's a Chinese box. Here comes, you know, tells you the whole detail breakdown of the reel itself. Uh, it tells you here the description and the labeling in uh, both languages, I'm assuming. And then right here, it tells you what it is, the uh, label or the pricing. And then I'm pretty sure underneath that tells you the braid, line capacity. So it says 30 pounds, 180 yards. Let's go ahead and spool this bad boy up. We're gonna need some backing on here. Um, when I did get the braid though and I took this cover off though, I will say this thing was super dirty and oiled up. Another thing that I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, this bearing in here is like seized up kind of. So whenever you're reeling in, it's gonna it might lock up on you. It might feel uncomfortable. I mean, all around guys, this thing does feel cheap. I mean, of course it is cheap. So don't have high expectations for this reel guys. I mean, it's $13 my boy. <laughs> Making some noise, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's a $13 reel. I mean, for being $13, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of impressed, I am. Uh, it's a nine to one to one gear ratio. All right guys, this thing should be split up in three, two one done so yeah guys here it is uh let's go ahead and put on the rod and uh do a quick casting test and kind of try to dial this thing in and see how it goes to make things even harder guys i went ahead and tied on a texas rig and put on a little speed worm a lot of you guys probably think how's that even hard well personally i don't have any experience throwing this and i know it's just like a, you know like a swimming worm and all that it's probably easy i don't know i've never thrown one either even got lucky so we're gonna try it out anyways and on top of that we got this super thick <laughs> <laughs> green braid dude so let's go ahead and see if we can, how this central cut this thing is huge <laughs> all right guys as you can see here we're clearly at spot number one you know what first of course the goal is to catch fish but let's just let's just cast out there and try not to burst this let's just let's do that dang water is pretty clear never mind it's not as bad as i expected it to be but straight right here first cast oh yep and there you go first bird's nest i didn't even do it that hard but yeah there you go first bird's nest okay so you really gotta dumb this bad boy and it was just get that tension knob a little there i'm gonna max these brakes out too i got the tension knob pretty pretty good on there so now let's see what happens oh, i'm gonna regret this already bro oh my lord Brakes are maxed out. The tension knob is set completely. Like it is tight on there. The tension knob is turned up like crazy. Brakes are maxed out right now on this thing. Watch. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get that thing out there. That's the only way. <laughs> there is no other way you're gonna be able to freaking cast thing out there without birds nesting. We just gotta catch fish. There you go. Got one. A little one, but you got it. Yo, hey, my first ever fish on a speed horn. Dude, look at this dude. Yo, yo, no freaking way. First ever fish on a speed worm. Nice. There we go. Got it out safely. Boom. Bro, just barely missed his gut. I'm so glad I set the hook when I did. But nice. All right, Brody. Get bigger. Look at that, look at that, I told y'all, I told y'all, bro, did that just happen? I saw him fucking strike it, bro, I saw him strike it, <laughs> bro, that's crazy, he was just chilling in the corner, what, I was like, I doubt there's a fish in here, bro, because I really did think, I really didn't think there was a fish in there, look, oh, bro, but he's skinny, yeah, he gotta eat, no wonder he was trying to eat this thing, he definitely needs to eat, man, he's super hungry, watch, oh, Alright, hopefully I don't get freaking annihilated by mosquitoes and yeah, snakes back here. We're gonna go ahead and switch out though because we are at the creek. So let's see what we got. There's still bass back here. Okay, 
That was actually a decent hit. There we go. There we go. Oh, what is that? A bag? Oh, yeah, it's a little bag. It's nice. Look at this. Yo. <laughs> little baby bass. Yo, you don't deserve to be in here. You need to go somewhere safe and get big. We're back at some freaking square one. Ow. What the heck? Let's go ahead and rip. I already got a text rig still rigged up on here. But just in case, I also bought a little buzz bait. Um, I used to kill it out here in the buzz bait like years ago. But then again, that was when uh, the water was super clear. It's not like that anymore. What is going on here? I am freaking sick and tired of this guys. I just got a new reel, a new rod, and I'm, I was super excited to use them. And uh, I only had one session with them. I've been throwing this stupid thing around. I'm just ready to get rid of it. All right guys, I just switched out to the buzz bait so you guys can see. I hear that freaking noise. <laughs> oh, yo, no, no, I missed the blow up. Mr. Bro, no! Dang it, bro. I'm so tired of this freaking reel. I'm about to just throw it away. There's a bump blow up. There's gotta be more. I think it's huge. Right there. Yo, yo, no way. Oh, snap. Yo, he's good. He's a good size one. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, that's a big, big one for this one. No, no, he's playing good. Oh my god. Oh, he's playing good. Oh. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. On a freaking $13 reel. Ah, uh, and that's how you end the video, man. Buzz bait, I knew we would get it done, bro. Oh, homeboy struck over there. In that corner, I, I mean, I'm assuming he was in. Struck over there. And I was like, I got it, I got it, throw. I got it, throw over there. <laughs> Yo, a little two-pounder. I'll take it, I'll take it, bro. Didn't break the reel, but hey. Sure as hell made my night. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I saw somebody put on here that this thing breaks right away. You know what? No, I'm done. I'm done. I was about to hype this thing up. No, I'm done. Get 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 the hell off my thing. Get the get off my route. I'm done with this thing. Never again. And this is the outro. Overall thoughts on the reel. Don't buy this thing. Don't waste your time. I've had this thing for two days. And in those two days, I had a terrible time fishing. And what I mean by terrible, guys, is that like I couldn't wait to like freaking throw this thing away or just for it to break or to just stop using it in general. I mean, it held up, but you guys might not get lucky. I mean, just by looking at those reviews in the beginning. So honestly, in my opinion, don't buy this thing. Go buy yourself an Ambergris Black Max, White Max, whatever it is. Anything is better than this crap.